Yeah. Say it's not, so. as you said, just changes to no. It changes. <laughs> That, that's the key, is that it actually changes to a different state when it gets to see. Okay, you got remainder, reversion, you know how they apply? And then Jonathan solved the dilemma for us about can you sell it? Again, if you own a life estate, you can sell it. You can sell whatever interest you own. The minute now, if someone else buys that life estate, the minute the deed dies, now they have to go to the, next, to the uh, remainder interest. Okay? Um, let me also throw in this word as well. Life tenants have the right to what is known as testovers. Testovers. I told you there were going to be a lot of E words in this class. There will be a lot of E words in this class. One of them is testovers. I would like for you to associate the word testovers with life estates. And let me give you a short uh, example of what testovers means. It's a level one vocabulary word. If you're making flashcards, it's clearly a flashcard word. Estovers means this. The life tenant has the right to use the property to maintain the property. The life tenant has the right to use the property to maintain the property. Now keep in mind, a lot of words in this class go back a few hundred years because real estate law goes back a few hundred years. So historically, Estovers may mean something like uh, this. The property that the life tenant owns is a 40-acre estate with a log cabin on it, trees on the uh, property. The life tenant would have the right to go onto the property, cut down trees, and use those trees to repair the house. Okay? Use the property to maintain the property. Does that make sense? <laughs> However, here's where it's interesting. The life tenant would not have a right to go to those 40 acres of land, cut down the timber, and sell it as timber. Because the life tenant only has one obligation by law. Their obligation by law is simply that they maintain the property for the future interest. Maintaining the property, keeping it up, normal wear and tear accepted is one thing. But cutting down that 40 acres of timber, what would that do to the value of the property? It would decrease what we call an act of waste. If you allow the property to decrease in value, it's uh, considered an act of waste. W A S T E. Okay. So, uh, estovers and waste. How do they associate with uh, life tenancy? Also, does anybody uh, uh, let's see in your textbook? I would like for you to take just, just put a star beside it, highlight it. Listen, it doesn't make it harder. I just want you to be aware. On the bottom of the page, what page is that? Thirty-two. Right here. 32. Down the bottom of page uh, 32 and the top of page 33, you will actually see it talks about rights of life tenants. You will recognize a lot of what we talked about, but I'd like you to pay special attention to that little section right there. Okay? You're not memorizing it. You're just paying close attention to it. As long as you own the property, what rights do you have? Yes? Um, so, there's a clarification on S-overs in the example you gave. Let's say uh, B, so A is giving to Okay. B is somehow like in a hospital for the rest of their life. C has the right to maintain the property because they will eventually own it. Um, don't worry about getting that uh, complicated. Seek okay. legal advice if you get there. There are some arguments that yes, that could, the property can be used to maintain itself, and that falls into that category. Where it stops and what's considered to be S over, we won't need to uh, worry about the test Okay. okay. Yeah, John. So um, since B is just a light. Yeah. If C is no longer available before B dies, it just revert back to A. No, it will go to, in this situation right here, if C is not available, if they're dead or something like that, it will actually, the remainder will be C's heirs, not A's heirs. In this situation right here, Jonathan, after A conveys it, they are out of the picture. They would only be in the picture if they had left a reversionary interest in the estate. At the end of the day, what do I want you to know about uh, a life tenancy, a, a traditional life estate? I want you to understand that it's freehold, you own it, it's not inherited. You got that much? And then the vocabulary associated, remainder, reversion, or esto, or waste. Okay, can you be that lean on it? Excellent. If not, it gets a little bit complicated. 
So those are your freehold estates. Let's see how we did. Let's go to our slides and see how we uh, did. Lisa, if you want to cut that off in just a second, that'll probably be okay. 